Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the VAT. For those unaware, Thailand does utilize what's called a value-added tax system. So generally speaking, this is a tax that it sort of occurs in the chain of, well, sort of in the economic supply chain, if you will, as goods and services are transacted. The value-added tax generally is added on top of whatever the cost is or factored in in some way. Presently, the value-added tax is 7% in Thailand, although that is technically a temporary measure. The VAT was initially passed at 10%. It was dropped down to 7 and sort of on an ad hoc basis, and they've continued to extend the sort of extend the law that keeps it at 7% sort of since the time it was promulgated, to the best of my knowledge. Quoting directly from a recent article in the Bangkok Post, it's bangkokpost.com. Article is titled, Cabinet Approves VAT Extension. Quoting directly, the Cabinet on Tuesday approved the extension of the 7% value-added tax, VAT rate, for another two years to help reduce the financial burden of consumers, enhance business confidence, and boost economic recovery. Rachida Dana Direk, a deputy government spokeswoman, said the 7% VAT will be retained until September 30, 2023. So we got a while to wait before we even have to deal with the possibility that we're going to see a VAT increase here in Thailand. And for those unaware, VAT can be a major issue having to do, especially in SMEs, with a foreign national's visa renewal. We see one of the things I've always noticed immigration really looks at carefully is VAT returns, if folks are keeping up with their VAT filings and VAT being paid. So again, the thing to take away from this video is that for now VAT is going to remain at 7% and it looks like it's going to remain there until September of 2023.